In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the arithmetic mean using frequency distribution on the TI-83 Plus and the TI-84 series. And now you have to be careful, uh, between the TI-83 and the 83 Plus there were some key changes, and so it might not work exactly the way I present it on the TI-83 alone. So what we have is we have a set of numbers here and a set of frequencies that are associated with those numbers. Now, they will either give it to you in pairings, so for instance, the number and the frequency, or they'll put it uh, top or bottom or in some kind of a grid or array. And you want to make sure that you have the exact order of both correct, because if you don't, this will mess it up. <laughs> we don't want three occurring seven times and two occurring five. We want two occurring seven times and three occurring five. And so be very, very cautious on this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my calculator here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to clear. Uh, we have second, or we want to go into stat. We are doing a statistical analysis, and so we want to go into the stat key. Under the edit, we go ahead and choose edit. And now you can see that I already have things in my list. Well, I don't want them there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and scroll up so that I'm selecting the header, L1. Press the clear button, hit enter that will clear out all of L1. If you press the delete key, you'll delete the list. Don't do that. Not unless you really, really want to. All right, so in L1, we have to make, we have to be very, very careful here. In L1, we're gonna put the numbers in. And so I'm gonna use the enter key after this. So it's two, enter, three, enter, five, enter, seven, enter. Now, if I scroll over to L2, I put my frequencies in, in the exact order. You must put them in the correct order. The calculator will do this and will give you the wrong answer if you do it wrong. And so two happens seven times, three happens five times, five happens three times, seven happens two times. Once you have those listed, press second and quit. That will exit out of that command. Now, we're going to play around with the lists, and so we're going to hit second and list, which is the stat key, but we press the second key first so we get a slightly different look. Now, we are going to perform math on it, and so we'll scroll over to math, and we want to find the mean. Press enter. Now, here's where it changes between simply numbers and the numbers and frequency. You must list the numbers first, the list of the numbers, and then the list of the frequency separated by a comma. Our numbers were in L1, and so if you hit second and then the number one, and the number one on your keypad, you'll, you'll enter L1 at the top. I'm gonna enter L2 the other, or alternative way. Press comma, right above the seven. Now, second list will take me back to the names. I want L2 as my second one. So I just scroll down to it, press enter, and it will automatically load that in. Close the parentheses. It's just good habit. Press enter. And now what this does is it gives you the average using those frequencies. And now you'll notice that five or two and three happen more often than five and seven, so we should expect something that's closer to three. And we do. We have 3.4, blah, 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 blah. And so we round this off to about 3.4. And that's how you do it with frequencies.